Okay, I thought I would show you how to add like a new product to shop uh, in case in the future if you ever need to do that. So once you log on to the site, you'll want to go to the shop page. And um, let's say you're creating a new earring. You'll just drag your mouse over all of that stuff. And then I do Command C and then Command V, which is just copy and paste. And then if you hit the shift key, you can move all of that content you've just copied over to where you want it. You obviously need to add the new photo. Um, and then you need to change out the title and the price. Now, okay, we'll leave everything else. So that's how you create the new item. And then we'll just leave it as is. And then you need to create a new product page for it. So I'm gonna delete that because I don't wanna stay in there. Um, and I'm gonna create, doo -doo -doo, I'm gonna create a product page for this. So what you do then is you come over, these are the two product pages I've created so far. You'll have obviously a ton more, 25. So you just go and click on one of the product pages, click on the three dots, duplicate, and now you have the new page. So if I go back to my shop, I'm gonna do the first one. So this is the name of it. Copy that name, click on the three dots, click rename. Give it the new name with the name of the item, obviously. And then right here, you want to change out the photos. So there's going to be quite a few gallery images. Uh, you want to delete those and just start putting in the new gallery images um, of that product. Right now, I don't have a ton, so we'll just put those in for now. And then you'll want to change out the name, of course. Change out the price. And then of course you wanna change out the, make sure that that little thing doesn't go over the black part. Um, the content about it, that, enter. And what you have now we have this whole page done if you want to like make sure that the page has the right name click out of it and then click back into it and you'll be able to get the page info so this is the page slug so when you have the url that's what it's going to be so i usually just copy that to make my life easy i go back to the shop page click on that image of the main photo and then come over to click actions link a page you actually don't need to copy that url and then you link the correct item right there and then if we preview it and if it's good just make sure to click that blue publish so that you're saving it all right so kind of hover over you can click on it and it brings you right to that now where it says your embed code for your shop goes here i'm going to create a new video um we're going to go into shopify and get that code and then you put that code there so i'll show you that after add products to shopify so you can go to products and then you'll just do add product. Um, I'm gonna do this bracelet. Obviously add the title, the description. Um, we're still waiting on some photos, so I'm just going to use a temporary photo right now. I'll change it out later. I'm going to put the price. Um, you can leave all that. If you want to track the quantity, so I don't know if you like have a certain amount of um, product in stock. I'm going to guess you do. Then just change this to however many you have, seven or whatever, and it'll track the quantity. So once you've sold seven, someone can't buy it. Um, if you want to be able to continue selling, even when it's out of stock, you can click that box right there. Um, this is a physical product. If you want to put the weight for calculating for shipping, you can do that. Um, but I'm just going to leave all that blank. And then the only other thing um, you want to do, let's, let's change this to active. You can add the product type if you want. So I actually already have bracelet in here, I think but we'll just go like that. Um, the vendor is obviously you. And then if you wanna add tags or collection, you can. Um, it's, it's not necessary though. Looking like it's taking a little while to upload, but 
Uh, once you have that all done, you can go ahead and save it. The reason you only need the Shopify Lite program is because all you need is the buy button. This store doesn't have to look pretty or anything because all I'm doing is taking a code of that item and putting it into right here. Um, this is where I'm going to put that code so that it like can automatically have a buy now button. Uh, so that's all I have for you. And I will give you more details in another Loom video. That's really long, but um, it's really helpful as well. Okay, so we now have the two products. They're both active. Uh, we're going to go to the buy button and create a buy button. It's a, ours is a product. And I'm going to do it for the manifest bracelet. And then you can customize the button type. Um, I think basic is fine if you, because I have, like, I don't want the price and stuff. I, because I've customized that already in here. Um, <clears throat> in show it. So I'm just going to do a basic button. Uh, this tells you what action do you want when people click. So do you want it to add the product to the cart and then like it'll be it'll show like this right over here um or do you want it to directly go to the checkout so adding products to the cart kind of will um encourage them to keep on shopping and potentially buy more so i'll leave that as is button style um add in your hex uh color code or whatever uh you can obviously play around with this um <clears throat> And then layout center is good. I just wanted to have this be capitalized. Okay. And then if you want to show the quantity field, you can. Um, but in this particular case, they probably aren't buying more than one of that item. Uh, shopping carts. This is what will pull up when they click like add to cart. This is what pulls up over here. Uh, so if there's anything you want to change in there, you could. I am good with all that. And then if we go to advanced, um, this, again, I just leave this as is. So at that point, I am ready for the code. So go next. You can copy that code. Go back to the website. And right here is where I want that button to go. So I'm just going to delete your embed code goes here. Move my little face. And then down here, you click on embed code, double click that, add in that code, and the button will pull up. I'm just gonna make it a little smaller and situate it wherever I want it. Um, if you have more than one view of this can of your page, which I don't, but if you had more than one view, just make sure you pull this button out of the view one or view two because you want it to like always be seen. Um, so this is good to go. And then you just click publish and it will work.